So here we are with the Mixig Automotive Scope. After hours and hours of searching online, looking for a standalone automotive scope that I don't need a laptop or a tablet to use my scope. I came up with the Mixig ATO 1104. She has 100 megahertz of bandwidth, it is a four channel scope with a sampling rate of one giga samples per second on a single channel. Now instead of sitting here listing all the specs that you could readily find online, instead let's take a look at what came with the scope. We got four BNC to four millimeter banana lines, red and black. They feel good, but I have to say I do wish they were longer. I feel like that's gonna be a problem in the future. But nonetheless, they did come with the scope. Next, we have four flexible back probes. We have two in red, two in black. We've got the probe on one side and four millimeter banana plugs on the other side. They are really flexible probes. I do have some just like this I've used for a while and I probably use these more than anything else when it comes to back probing. Next we have four insulated alligator clips. We've all used them. We have two red, two black. They feel pretty stout. Feels like they have good springs in them. It does squeeze pretty tight. Four millimeter jacks. Next we have four P130 probes. They're attenuated 10 to 1. You have the probe on one side with a ground lead coming off of it and BNC connectors on the other side. The scope is rated up to 300 volts. I believe I read somewhere it can take short spikes up to a thousand volts. Do not quote me on that. Look that up yourself. But with the 10 to 1 probes, you can do, say you're doing primary ignition that can reach up, you know, four, five, six hundred volts. You can use these 10 to 1 volt, 10 to 1 probes safely with the scope without having to use a separate attenuator. You can see on the probe, there's a green circle, two, on one on each end. Each of the probes comes with a little pack of different color rings. That way you can line it up or match it up to the back here with each channel. For channel one is yellow. You can put yellow rings on one of the probes and each color different for each of the probes to match up with the channels here in the back. Channel one is yellow, two is blue, three is pink, and four is green and the last one is an auxiliary out port. And when you turn the scope on, each channel is going to correspond with the color of each probe. If you have four channels going across the scope, channel one is going to be yellow, channel two is going to be blue, three pink, and four green. Corresponding with the colored BNC caps where you plug each probe in. These are the little packs that come with the probes. You have the screwdriver inside to calibrate each probe to each channel. You have the different color rings that you can put on each probe. And you have small little connectors that you can connect to the tip of the probe if you're working on a small computer board, circuit board. Again, for automotive use, I do wish the length of the probes were longer. When you're trying to reach across an engine and suspend the cables from hanging from the hood of the car so they don't get caught in fan belts, the more length, the better. So now let's turn it on. One thing I do like with the ATO, which is the automotive model, 
you do get this nice screen right here with the race car. I've noticed on the ones that are not ATO, just the TOs, they do not have that car on it. First impressions, I do like it. I like the different colors. Doesn't look boring. Everything kind of stands out. Each channel on the right, the yellow, the blue, kind of looks purple there. Purple, pink, whatever. And the green for each channel. I, I do like how they just stand out. I know which information goes with each channel just right off. I'm going to jump right into the automotive presets button that comes with the ATO 1102 and 4. As you can see, you have different tests. First category is charging and starting circuits. Underneath it, you can see all the different tests that are in that category. You have charging and starting circuits. You also have sensors. You have actuators, ignition, networks, combination tests, and pressure tests. Under each category, you have the list that falls in that category of tests. As you can see, under each test, it does tell you for that test which lead or probe, current probe, etc., to plug into each channel for that test. Here you can take a look under each category so you can see what tests are available. Here we're under sensors. You can see all your different tests. I'm not going to read them off. Here are all the different tests under actuators. Looks like there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve different tests under actuators alone. Here we can click on ignition. We'll see our different tests under ignition. Again, it tells you what channel to connect which probe or lead to. Next, we have our networks. CAN, high and low, LIN, flex ray, K line. Next category is combination test. You can see them. I'm not going to list them. And last but not least, we have our pressure tests. You're going to need a pressure tester in order to do these tests. And you can see the list below. And that's going to conclude this video of what came with the scope. And a quick look at the automotive presets. Stay tuned. Next videos are going to be using the scope in action on vehicles. Using some of these different presets to test different things on the cars. Real quick, I think I forgot to mention, it also comes with a power adapter, a power cord, a lithium battery, a carry strap, a screen protector, and a certification of calibration. And of course, if you like the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notifications, leave comments, leave complaints. Let me know what you want to see in the future.